How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, I wanted to talk to you about everything that we have in our storage base because we've been refining it over the years and it's always changing from what we like and what we think would serve us RVing better. And so we're gonna go through everything that we have in this pass-through storage bay, the front one, and the one that we actually enlarged in the back. You might be surprised at what's in there and you might be even more surprised by what's not in our storage base. This should be interesting. So let's get into what we have in the storage bay. And in the very front of the storage bay, we have four of these chairs. These are our favorite camping chairs by far because they are small, they are lightweight. We can pack four in this front tray area with other stuff and we still have plenty of room. So four of these chairs right in the front of the storage bay. Okay, in the bottom of this tray, we have this little whisk room that we keep right next to the front door. We clean the steps off so we don't track as much in. Before we fold those stairs inside, we also sweep them off, keeping it clean and not folding all that dirt inside. So very handy to keep right next to the front door. The other thing that I like to keep right next to the front door is uh, lubricant. So this is slide out lubricant because it doesn't collect dust and dirt and stuff like that. So our door is adjusted to where you can just close it and it closes easily, but keeping it lubricant it allows it to not have to be slammed. This is the extra secret sauce in there that keeps the door working well. We also have the beach umbrella in here because we just honestly love the beach. And so an umbrella at the beach is phenomenal. We also have some pecs down in here uh, because I'm still chasing some of that flexible tubing that I wish was pecs in here. So as I come across it or it's an opportunity to be able to replace it, I keep some of this on hand and I just swap it out at that time. I also keep in this tray, uh, this little plug. This is my neutral ground bond plug. Uh, so I can plug this into the generator when I'm testing other devices that don't have a ground to neutral bond. I'm able to do that so that it satisfies the EMS surge protector, allowing us to be able to test other equipment. So this makes the generator usable with our surge protector on the RV. Some of these things in other videos, I've gone more in depth like this plug. So I'll put links down in the description so you can check those out and get the details on some of these items. And then back in this corner, we have the cat food. This is the tub to kind of weather seal it, keep bugs from getting in the cat food and it stores up and fits nicely in this tray. Okay, this one's a little bit strange as I keep aluminum angle in here. So this one's a little bit longer than my other pieces. I use them for straight edges, for projects around here. I'll cut it up, chop it up, use it if I have a project that I'm working on. So here's another piece that I've used and used chunks off of it for other things. Then in this back corner, I have a charger for the DeWalt drills that we have. Next in there is a box of the diesel exhaust fluid because I like to keep one of these on hand for the truck. I should have pointed this out before, but you can see that we don't max out our storage. We have a decent amount of space in front of a lot of the main storage in here through this pass through. And we even keep our generator in here. So that's next, uh, our dual fuel generator. We store it in here because we don't really run it on gasoline. We almost always run it just 100% on propane. So it doesn't smell like gas storing it in this bay. It's lightweight, easy to use, easy to put in here too. And I keep the propane pressure regulator just in the same bay along with it. Next, this is not the most elegant box, but this is food storage, like an emergency food storage supply. So we keep this on hand just depending on whatever might happen. So extra food. Next in here is that folding table. I absolutely love this folding table. I've talked about it a bunch. Works great with the pit boss that we have for when we're cooking outside and whatever else we might need the table for. I just love it because it is so compact and easy to throw in there. Next is probably one of our bigger items in here and it's the pit boss, but it's been, it's been fantastic. We love it. We originally had that in the back of the RV for storage, but we moved it to the front because after weighing, we saw that having that heavier object in the front was better for us towing. So next on the list is our step lever. Actually, probably more of a step stool, but uh, it's a decent height for being able to do the maintenance on the slide and get to a lot of the stuff around the RV without it being a full-size ladder. Lightweight and compact works well. Now these next three items, if we didn't have them, this bay would feel really empty and like we didn't have much in here because they take up the bulk of the storage and it's our three paddle boards and we use them quite a bit. We have two individual single person paddle boards and we have the two person one with the seat. So we use it more like a kayak. So I just saw that it came back on stock on Amazon. So I'll put a link down in the description to that for sure. When we find a fun place to paddle around where we're RVing, it's one of our favorite things. 
So that's the majority of the stuff that we have in our pass-through bay, our main storage, but we'll get to the other stuff on the other side. So this side of the pass-through storage is where a lot of the stuff that we use for setup land. So this is our, our hose from when we're connecting up. Right now we're using our sub-freezing temperature hose. So this one's sitting right in there. This is our hose for flushing the black tank. And then I have gloves right over here for when we're flushing the black tank and setting up the hose and all that. I use these gloves to keep everything sanitary. And then right here in this corner is where we keep our adapters for connecting up the power. So if we're connecting into 30 amp or the 15 to 20 amp, uh, those are just right here in this corner. I have a pressure gauge. Sometimes I check the pressure that's different than our pressure regulator. I just like having this on hand. And then I have a few other things for water. I have like a high pressure nozzle that I use. We have our hose for connecting into the outside spigot right here. I have a toothbrush so that I can uh, not brush my teeth out here. This is a toothbrush so that I can clean out the Schwintech slide system. I'm trying to keep that as clean as we can and have that slide working as good as we can for as long as we can. This would be a terrible place to keep your normal toothbrush. Then I have a little bit of disinfectant back in here. I have some extra hose washers in here. So if you lose one, you still have a couple of extra. Then we have this adapter to be able to put the air compressor onto our water system in the RV in case we need to blow out the lines. If we're gonna be in freezing temperatures and have the RV in storage. And then also this is the water bandit. So this allows us to fill up, depending on the water source, it doesn't always have threads. This allows us to fill up our fresh water tanks on the RV if it has a slightly different adapter at the end of the water source. So this, this comes in handy. So that covers everything through this pass-through that we store in here. So let's move on to the next storage bay. Okay, so this front storage, I do have some storage in here, but I almost look at it as more of like a mechanical area because we have our inverter, our battery setup, our solar setup, all in this bay here. And I don't wanna overpack it because I do want these things to be able to cool in the summertime. And if it's just packed with stuff, it's not gonna cool as well. But I always have a couple of these stools in here. They're just great for being able to set up be able to set down and work in this area. They're very handy for working in this storage bay here. They're also great for an extra seat just around the fire or anything like that. Just handy to have on hand. Next, I have the Govi temperature sensor in here. It's just an easy way to track the temperature. I actually have other temperature sensors in here with the system, but uh, it's just easy to pull up from inside. So I do have an extra water pump in here. This one's kind of twofold. I use it as an extra water pump. If we had to swap ours out, we could. And I use it as our boondocking water setup. If we need to bring more water out, I use this in that system. Makes it really easy. We have our collapsible bucket. I have gotten a ton of use out of this thing. I thought it was kind of a joke in the beginning and I uh, really liked it last time I did a video on it and I have used this a lot. Collapsible bucket, definite win there. Now this next one I could use your guys help on. There's two things I'd like for you guys to comment on. What do you keep in this front storage bay if it's not your inverter setup? And number two, what do you have for storage for using with your grease gun? This is how I keep my grease gun. I double pack it in plastic and then I tuck it in here. It's, it's a great place out of the way to be able to store it, but I would like something better than just a couple of plastic trash bags keeping any of the grease from being contaminated in there. Grease guns are always so dirty and trying to not let that grease get everywhere. Plastic trash bags is what I'm doing for that for right now. Then over here, I have our MPPT charge controller. I use this for our portable solar panels when we're out boondock. I plan to mount this in here and make it more of a permanent setup and then just plug the panels in when we need to, uh, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. Next, I have a tarp in here from Harbor Freight. Uh, I like it because I can use it on the ground if I needed to, if it's been raining or something, I needed to work underneath the RV and didn't want to get soaked or covered in leaves, or if I needed to cover something with a tarp, I have one that's very convenient just here in the front storage bay. And then for convenience sake, I keep an additional multimeter in here. I always have one in the truck, but I keep this one magnetized in this compartment. All the electrical components, I like having a multimeter always dedicated for inside of the RV. Then in the original battery tray, that's usually where I keep rags. But right now I have this converter that I'm testing. I'll put a link down in the description. It's an auto detect converter that detects whether you have lead acid or lithium and will charge the batteries accordingly. It's kind of cool but I'm still doing a little bit more testing to see exactly how it does. Now in the back corner, I have one of the strangest things you might have in an RV and it's this respirator. This respirator I use all the time. Every time I go out to dump the black tanks, 
I'm using this respirator. I mean, who else uses a respirator to dump their black tanks? This is a must have. No, I don't actually use this to dump the black tanks. We were helping some friends out that bought a 200 year old home and I definitely was gonna be wearing a respirator and it's just stayed on the RV. But I think that does it for this bay. We have one more bay in the back to check out. Now this back bay is kind of funny because when you look in there, there's really not a whole lot in here. So on the right side, we have the ice maker, which in the summertime gets a ton of use. It's so nice having ice. And then we have a couple of the other things for cooking out. We have the thermometer for when we're using the pit boss. And then I have my brush for cleaning off the grill. It just has a hook in there with a magnet at the bottom so it doesn't swing around while we're driving. So that's everything on this side of the storage. Then on the left side, we have our life jackets for when we go out paddle boarding. And then we have the cat carrier. And then the rest of this really be kind of become the garage for my younger son. Uh, his RC stuff lives in this back storage bay. And that's everything in this back storage bay that we have. I almost forgot back here, I also have some paper towels hung up. It's just real easy to have them handy outside. Love adding that in here. Now this isn't necessarily one of our bays, but it is outside storage. And we have two of these compartments for being able to store our sewer hose in there. So we have 20 feet on one side and we have 15 feet on the other side. And yes, we have had to use more than 20 feet. So having that much sewer hose has been very welcome. Uh, this came with one of these. We added the second one. It was really easy to add. And I'm really glad that we did it too. I like having this outside storage dedicated outside storage. So I'm not putting it in another bay kind of dirtying everything up. It's out here dedicated and it's kind of keeping the mess all in one spot. So love that. But I think that's it for all of our storage from the pass through to the front storage to this rear storage and these two little bonus storages under here. That's everything that we have on the RV as far as outside storage. And we don't try and max it out as you can see. I think it's better to not be maxed out and not put the heaviest things that we can in here and put the RV overweight. So I think we have a decent balance of the things that we would like to travel with and keeping the weight down inside of the RV. And things are still accessible because things aren't so maxed out. The more you max out storage in an RV, it's harder to get to that stuff that you're actually traveling with. So I think that's going to do it for today. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video.